Hello guys, in this video we will make this asset with Speedflow. In fact, I made uh, one asset like this one on Twitter, it was an exercise, so if you want to participate, try to reproduce it in a non destructive way if you want, or not, and uh, after watch the video like that you will see how I will do it. Because this object, if I select it, all of this, if I hide everything, this is just that. So as you can see, absolutely everything is editable. And on this video, I will make a different workflow because I want to run those uh, corners here and here and here and here. And uh, I will have to use a different workflow. Okay, so let's start. I will select everything. I will hide everything. I will press Shift to C to place my cursor to the center. Uh, I will start from a cube. So Shift A, Mesh, Cube, here. I will go in edit mode and I will scale it, let's see, like that. What I want to do now is to add this part. So I will press Ctrl R to add a loop, like that. Go in face mode, select this one, press E to extrude, like that. I will select this with Alt, Shift, Alt and this and click and I will press Ctrl X. That will get rid of those edges. And I started from a cube because I want the same size from this edge and this one. Because we want to make something round. Okay? So, I will select this one and but before I will add a loop at the center. Always, if you make something, try to add a loop at the center. Like that, you will uh, be correct with the bevel rule because we will use one here. And it's always better to uh, have a center loop. Okay, watch my other video to understand this. <laughs> so, I will select this, 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 and this. And I will call, bam, the bevel. Like that. Okay? To avoid this kind of results, I will activate the clamp overlap with L. And with S, like that, I can enter directly the proper value 1. Bam! And I will have this. I want to get rid of those two vertices because the bevel uh, doesn't merge the vertices. So for this, I will add a well modifier. And as you can see, the result is different, but it's correct. Let's come back to the bevel. Let's increase the number of segments to have something really clean. If I press 6, I will have this. And as you can see, this is pretty simple to do this. Okay? Now, what I want is to add a bevel here, okay? I will press tab, I will press 1, I will select those points, and that's why I created this center edge, because when you use the bevel in the group, it's always better to have one. I will press space, and I will call the bevel. That will give me this weird result, because, as you can see, the new bevel, the group, is after the weld and the bevel. So, with the upper row key, I will move it, bam, at the bottom of the stack. This is 0, 1, 2, 3, okay? And I will have a proper result. And after you can play with it, let's try to make something like that, to make it consistent. Okay. I want now to add a new bevel. I will press Shift and A, uh, Space, my bad. And with Shift and Space, I will add a bevel in angle mode. I can activate the loop slide if necessary. I will keep it like that. And as you can see now, let's press 6. We made this and this is pretty clean. This is pretty nice. If you need to increase the number of segments, you can. Let's press 6. You just have to go on this one, press D and boom, like that. Let's make something like that. You can also with F play with the profile. I will make 0.6, enter. And I should have something correct. So, 6 to hide. And this is nice. Okay. Uh, maybe select everything. Uh, scale it. Oopla, not here. Scale it a little like that. And that should be correct. Now, I will select, let's see, this and this. And this and this. But like I said previously, maybe it's better to add uh, a loop here. But right now, normally it should work. Uh, and now. Yes, 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 my bad. I wanted this, but no, I want this. So, space, bevel, ooh, you have this result. And it's because DV group are really difficult to work with, and you need to move it before some other uh, bevels. And just like that, boom, that will work. And this is what I wanted. 
and now I have something clean. So yes, be careful about DV groups. DV groups are really powerful that will create a new um, modifier with those points as uh, reference. And uh, sometimes if uh, DV group uh, break, broke, uh, you need to move it before some others and uh, you will have proper result. It's a workflow you need to understand to, uh, to deal with this. But if we check, we have this and this is pretty clean uh, like that. Now what we want is to add a hole here. Okay. So what I will do is to call the cutter like that. I will press Alt and Shift and I will click that will create this. And the displays will be to change the size. After you will press space to validate, you will be in the solidify. This is not what I wanted. I will just press Y and that will change the orientation of my object like that. You can press two to hide and to see only the bound object. And we made this. And as you can see, this is clean. So this is nice. Uh, what we can do is maybe play with the displays like that. Play with this screw to increase it. Let's see, uh, 64. It may be too much, but uh, why not? <laughs> so we made this. And as you can see, if we check, boom, we have something pretty, pretty, pretty clean. And this is what we want. Okay. So now what I will do is to duplicate this object. I will press Shift D. Since the origin is well placed directly, I will press R, Z, and 180, <laughs> sorry for my so bad English, and that will give me this kind of result. So I will hide this one for now. I want to cut this one. So what I will do is go in top view. I will call the cutter. I will press Alt and I will click that will give me this result. Let's see like that. And I will press space to validate and I will cut my object. I want to add a bevel here. So I will call the bevel and I will have something like that. And that will be pretty, pretty clean too. Okay. Let's show the previous one. And on this one, we will make something different. We will go in top view. We will call the cutter and we will uh, cut this object uh, to um, well, yes, we will cut it here to keep the same size. Uh, let's come here like that. Space to validate. And we made this. Okay. So to be sure to have something correct, I will just move it a little here like that. And as you can see, that will work. I want to add the bevel. So maybe try to check the size of this bevel. I press S.3. And I will do the same. Bevel S.3, like that, and increase the number of segments. Up. And that's it. You made this. And as you can see, I need to cut the other part. So for this, I will call the mirror. I will press O to select a ref object. I will select this one, and boom, I will have my result. Okay? So as you can see, this is working nicely. But this one, I can maybe move it. Let's see here, should be correct. Be careful about the uh, point here. Maybe I can make something, let's see, like that. To be sure to have something correct. And that's it, we made this. So let's hide the other part. Uh, not this one, but those two. This one and this one, press H. I want to add something here, but uh, why make something else when I can already use this one? I will duplicate this. I will press Shift Q and Shift on display mode. And that's it. I made this. So with this solidify, I can decrease this. I can add a bevel. I can do this, add a new one, do this. And that's it. Nice. Uh, I can add something here. So I can duplicate it again. I can play with the displays. Let's see, like that. I can play with this solidify. Let's see, like that. Let's move it here. The first bevel is too big, like that. This solidify is too big, like that. And in fact, I, I think I will get rid of the, uh, the first bevel. So this one, let's remove it, like that. And let's play with this solidify, like that. I will now move this one 
here, I can go in edit mode and just take this one up and move it like that. Boom. And as you can see, this is nice. So uh, I will, uh, ta -ta, I can play with the displace on this one since I already have a displace. I can add a mirror. I will press O to select a ref object. I can select this one. Boom. And as you can see, yep, it's not working. Mirror X, I will use mirror Y to see, or mirror Z, yes, because the uh, orientation of the object is important. For example, if I choose this one as reference, it would be a mirror in X, but this one is rotated, as you can see, in Y. So be careful about this, uh, about your object, it's really important. And that's it, I made this. So now what I want, I want to add some holes here. And for this, uh, I will just maybe call companion. Uh, you can use this on companion if you want, or you can use the pie menu. Uh, be sure to activate the cursor, the boolean, and choose difference. And I will place, let's see, my cursor here. And I will call, let's see, this one with alt, bam, to make a scale directly, like that. Let's go in top view. I can uh, maybe move this one. And if you want to not have, uh, let's see, those lines, uh, you can add a loop on this one. So I will press Ctrl R, like that here. And I will have this weird result. So why do you have this weird result? It's because I have here a bevel in the group. And since I subdivided, subdivided this edge, this point will also have the bevel in the group. So on companion, I will call this and I will click on remove. And I will click on remove. And just like that, I will have something clean. Okay? So I can after move it as I want. And that will work. On this one, what I want is to show the uh, wireframe. So let's activate the overlays. On this one, what I want is to move this and to snap. So be sure to activate the snap vertex to snap here. Okay. And normally, if now this one, I press control to go like that, I will have something perfect. Okay. So with this, I will add a mirror. Mirror, press O to select the ref object like that. And that's it. And as you can see, this is clean. This is what we want. So I will do the same here. I will go in edit mode. Yep. I will press Ctrl R like that. I will remove with Ctrl or just call this menu and remove this one. And after I will move it. Let's see here like that. So I can duplicate this one. I can snap it. Here, I can select this one, this one, add a boolean, and I should have my result, a proper result. And if we check, we made this, and as you can see, this is pretty clean. This is what we want, and maybe let's add uh, something different. I will add this here too, to have something really different. Up, let's show the uh, booleans. So let's call the boolean on this one. Uh, yes, this is this one. Let's move it, or maybe move it like that. Up, 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 up. A little. I will disable this snap. Let's move it, let's see, like that. Bam. Yes, should be correct. Let's duplicate this one. Hop là. Let's see here. Boom. Let's go in top view, that will be easier for us. Up. Since this object has a displace in X, I can just play with it to come. Let's see like that. I can play with this solidify. Again, let's go into view. Let's decrease the size. Up. And let's move it. Let's see. Up. It a little. And play with shift S shift to slow down. And that's it. And just with this, we made that. And that's it. Our object is correct. After, if you want, you can go in the asset management, uh, go in the uh, screws and bolts pack, if you have it. So, uh, my inset, screws and bolts, ta -ta 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 -ta, here. I will pin it. And after, add the screw you want and place it correctly. 
and you will have something correct. Uh, for example, which one I could add? Ta -ta -ta. Maybe this one. I will place it, Shift S, and select so, to cursor. Let's scale it like that. Up. Ah, my cursor wasn't placed correctly. So Shift S, cursor to selected. Shift S, selection to draw the cursor. Let's move it like that. Let's make a little scale. And that's it. So add a mirror, press O, select this object. It's done. Duplicate this object here. Shift to D. Snap it here. And that's it. This time, boom. And our object is finished. Maybe uh, move this one. Be sure to select both. both. Let's maybe move this one here. Sorry for this. And if you want, you can also, let's make something a little bit different. Select uh, this object. If we check this object is like that. I can uh, ta -ta 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 -ta, press, let's see, Alt D, like that. Select this one and move it like that. So let's uh, move this one just like that. Up. And this one just like that. Up. And boom, we made this. So if you want to this one to be the same, select this one, select this one, control L and choose object data. Yeesh. <laughs> the size should be the same. So maybe I change it. Up, 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 up. Let's decrease it. So be sure the size is the same and that will work. Okay. So that's it. We made our object. It's correct. And uh, yes, this one is smaller, so just maybe make it a little bit smaller. Up. And maybe just decrease the height of this a little. And that's it. And in fact, you do whatever you want and you have your object. As simple as that. It's not simple, I know, but uh, it's interesting. Absolutely everything is editable except those uh, screws. And uh, the result is pretty clean, as you can see. So that's it. Try to make your own version if you want. Uh, try to make a different uh, workflow to make this object if you want. It's really up to you. And uh, if you have some question, uh, go to our Discord, the comment section, uh, Twitter, etc., etc. And see you later for our next video. Bye bye.